Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all very well. Today's Thursday and I thought I would start this vlog on a Thursday because we do have a couple of things uh, on today and then also tomorrow because usually my weekdays are so boring. I literally sit here and work along all day. Um, so I don't really take you along too much during the weeks but um, we have a couple of nice things planned especially also for the weekend. I'm really looking forward to the weekend so much. The weather has turned and it's looking so bright and beautiful out there and I hope it will stay like this for the weekend. Um, so today I have a project to finish, actually today and tomorrow because on Monday I have a presentation. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna um, focus on that for the next two days and then for a, a little bit of a like lunchtime treat. Henry and I, we thought we were going to go to the creek and go for a little walk down there because it's so peaceful and so nice to sometimes just like go for a walk, clear your head and then come back to work with fresh energy. And also I have been doing a lot of yogas in the creek because um, Henry has clients at the moment in the creek. So uh, we go there together in the morning. I do my yoga and it's honestly just the best thing. It gives me so much life. I love it so, so much. And uh, by the way, you guys, I am now a certified yoga teacher, which is really exciting. I honestly enjoyed my yoga teacher training so much and I have learned so much. And uh, honestly, there's just so much life wisdom in yoga and it's just been such, an, such a wholesome and such an amazing journey um, yeah, to do this and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. So if any of you guys uh, are thinking about doing a yoga teacher training, I would definitely recommend. I honestly loved it and I'm really like, I really want to learn even more now. Like I'm really hungry for like learning more and deepening my practice and uh, it's just really fun to be honest and just something really like, I don't know, just really you kind of do it for yourself as well. It's like so much knowledge and so much like, so many things that you learn from it that will help you in day-to-day -day life. Um, so yeah, Henry is just um, training his client and then we are going to head out to the creek. I'm gonna make myself a little bit of lunch first and then um, we're gonna just uh, go for a lovely walk over there. And then I'm going to come back, going to finish my work. And then tonight we um, have planned to play padel with our friends. We're super excited for it. This will be my third time of playing padel, which is fun. Like, um, I haven't uh, played too much. I feel like I always speak about it, but I never actually, like, play. Like, not too much. But uh, it's honestly so fun to play. Um, I'm not the biggest tennis fan. Like... I'm actually quite bad at tennis, I would say, because I don't know, I never really got into it. Like my sister's really good, my dad is really good, but for some reason tennis was never really like my thing. But Padel is just on another like, I don't know, spectrum. Like it is similar, but it is also different. So for me, like personally, it's so much more fun. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that tonight. Uh, we're gonna go there around 5.30 and um, we're going to Club Padel in our course. I haven't been, Henry has played there before and he said it's really nice, so I'm looking forward to this. And um, also, I have been wanting to play at Matcha Club so for so long and for some reason, every time when we want to play and when we have like enough people, because obviously from Padel you need four people, when we have enough people to play, like it's always booked out there and I really want to play there because it's so lovely and also they have like a little uh, coffee shop restaurant where you can get food, but I'm sure we'll get to that and we will play there one day. Um, yeah, other than that, I am quite hungry so I'm going to make myself some lunch now and then I'm going to check in with you guys later. Henry actually just popped in. He has a very busy day today again. So we're not heading to the creek just yet. We pushed it back to um, this evening because after Padel, we're just gonna go for an evening stroll. Um, sometimes, yeah, Dubai just gets hella hectic and um, you kind of like arrange things, but then it's just kind of life and work gets in the way. Anyway, I actually do have a lot of stuff to finish. I am currently, doing some technical drawings and um, yeah, and then I'm gonna get ready for Padal later. 
pop on my active wear and um, I think Henry and I were gonna drive there together and then enjoy a nice round of padel. It's so nice and sunny today, I need to get out. I just quickly changed, put on my active wear because I'm going to meet Henry downstairs straight away. Um, he's running a bit late, we wanna make sure that we're right on time. I was just editing my vlog actually from last weekend. Um, I still haven't had the time to edit it, so um, I hope I will be able to get it up and running in the next couple of days. But yeah, for now, we're gonna head out. Um, by the way, I had to um, close the curtains in the back because it is getting hot in this apartment and it's not even summer yet. Like I just had a look and it actually says like 28, 29 degrees already in this apartment. And outside at the moment, it's uh, like 28. I'm a bit scared for summer, to be honest, when it's like, I don't know, 45, 50 degrees outside. Is it going to be that inside? I don't know. Hopefully not. We will see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head downstairs and meet Henry in the car. We arrived at Club Padel. It looks really nice. Wow. And Henry just told me that he's very hungry and I was like, that is just annoying. She's Why do you not it. eat before Padel? Because I've been working the biggest all waste. day. And then he was like, please remind me to get something, some food before we leave back home. And I'm like, I don't need to remind you to eat, please, please. Um, anyway, I'm really excited for Padel. Thanks for your support regarding the Please don't the crash eating. the car. And um, yeah, I will show you the court. nice time playing padel it was very sweaty it was very yeah, hot it was it's getting hot now big time big time but it was really fun and i really really liked um club padel it was really nice there yeah. actually um but yeah we're gonna go get some food some and spinnies yes and then we're gonna spinnies. go for a little evening stroll what are you gonna get this looks really good. Yeah, I have that. It's the same as it now. This is the same and as it now. And Kinoa. Yeah. yeah. We found our little spot. Also got myself a juice. And now we're eating dinner with a beautiful view. So yes. Nice. Ready to tuck in. Enjoy, my love. Well fed and ready for bed. Yes. We're heading home now. It was so nice though to come here, but we're really tired now. I mean, especially you, you played padel twice today, so. Double padel, lots of work, lots of driving, but a great day. So. Another great day in doom. Ready for sleep. Friday I am just about to head out to the Dubai mall because I have a few errands to run and I'm pretty much done with my work today which is great and um, I'm gonna go and get some lunch it's actually past lunchtime it's um, almost like three o'clock I think so by the time I arrived at the mall it will be a very late lunch um, but I'm super hungry so I'm gonna head over now and um, yeah, we'll see you there. So we are just looking for a nice spot to have lunch. We just came across a really nice looking restaurant. 
but maybe it's more of like a cake place let's see i just bossed arlo yoga down there i need to have a look because it just opened so we decided to come to paul for lunch we both ordered really nice pasta with burrata and shrimps and uh, the same drink as well we're just literally the same person aren't we and um the view from here by the way is so nice and at Paul's you always get some bread because that is such a rare thing in Dubai. You always get that in Europe, right? It's not a rare thing in Germany. Bread. Well, you always get bread in Germany and in Italy and like, it's just a complimentary kind of thing. Um, yeah, so just... we're very grateful for this. Yeah, it's very tasty bread. Food has arrived. Oh, it looks delicious. so good. This wow. Is, again, amazing. This drink, by the way, insane yeah it's called really, passion fruit surprise really and it is really a Very pleasant unique. surprise i like it so much a boyfriend's dream scenario the girlfriend doesn't finish and he gets a second helping i got the second helping minus any prawns though so it's well, just, there's already. no protein but i am grateful to have this um i'll try my best to finish it it's very rich it's um, delicious though i will i will give it a go Let's Yay. go. We move. <laughs> Good morning, it is Saturday and Henry and I, we're gonna head out to a breakfast slash uh, brunch at the Royal Atlantis. Um, it's at a restaurant called Gastronomy and they have like, I think it's even the biggest, um, the biggest buffet in the world or something like that. So we're really excited to try the food. This is my outfit. I actually um, got this skirt from Reserved yesterday. And I really love it. It actually kind of matches the vibe in the Royal Atlantis because they have like the white and golden marble in the hotel. So yeah, I decided to go for this outfit. And um, yeah, we're gonna head out and I'll see you there. When I was in the mall yesterday, I popped into Ardo Yoga and I tried on a few things. And I really, really love their um, active wear. I actually do have a few yoga outfits, which I love and I love wearing them. Um, and um, I went to the, um, when I went to the changing rooms, I had like a full basket of things that I wanted to try on. And um, before I went into the changing rooms, I was like thinking, oh, should I like go to the restrooms now? Because I really needed the toilet. And I was like, okay, no, let's just wait and then try on my stuff. And then I tried on the stuff. And then as soon as I came out of the um, changing rooms, I needed the loo so badly. So um, I went outside the shop and I tried to find the restrooms, but in Dubai Mall, I'm telling you, you just don't find restrooms ever. Like I always get into this trap where I just need the loo so bad and then I can't find them. So I literally raced through the mall. I tried to find some. I finally found them 
and then there was obviously a queue because there's always a queue and yeah that was a very very unpleasant moment um, but uh, I can only just tell you guys when you whenever you're shopping in Dubai Mall just don't leave it to last minute because there will be a queue where you will have to wait probably like 10-15 minutes and also you won't find the loose so just a little because it happened to you a few times as well did you said so yes. it's just um, one of those things but uh, yeah it was actually really nice I tried on um, a couple of things um, and um, I got my skirt I actually got two skirts I got one black skirt and then this one that I'm wearing today um, yeah they're both really nice I had a good deal on yesterday so I decided to go for it and then I was trying on um, a few glasses because I'm looking for the gold Celine glasses that literally everyone at this point has but I just love them I'm obsessed um, but obviously because everyone already has them they're out of stock everywhere in the entire Dubai mall guys could not track these um, Celine glasses down and every single time when I went into a different um, store and I was saying oh I'm looking for the gold Celine glasses um, the um, people were like oh yeah you're not gonna get them they're completely sold out you're not gonna find them and I was like well that's great but uh, I found uh, other ones um, which are a similar shape and I tried them on because I've actually never tried the Celine ones on and I didn't know if they would um, fit my face shape so I tried on the Saint Laurent ones and I actually really like them they're a bit more minimalistic on the side as well like the Celine ones have the golden like branding on the side but um, they were really nice decided to get our stuff first and then now enjoy on this plate. Oh my, what is this? Oh this is uh, the Asian section, then that the eggs, avo, uh, English section with the sausage and the hash wow. brown. Yeah, you just kind of get lost because it's, you like get lost for like, <laughs> I don't know, we, we just got lost for like 30 40 minutes, 40 minutes, um, because we had to get all of our dishes and now we're going to enjoy. So I got a second round and I went very British, which I usually never do, because Henry said I should try this. I pretty this. much forced you into it, let's be honest. <laughs> the chicken sausage, then a hash brown, which I love, and then they make like um, fresh uh, eggs benedict with salmon. Got underneath. to mention the sauce as well, which what is, is it? HP sauce. HP sauce. And, and then we got also some dumplings down here. These, oh, they're insane. Best thing I've had at the buffet so far. That's how much I love it. Them. So, and then we still got our sweet stuff here for later. Yeah, I'm not so. sure. I'm more on the savory vibe today. Like, I think yeah, they have just so much. My stomach nice might stuff. just not like me if I go fully in on the sweet stuff. But yeah, I'm really enjoying the savory. Yeah, we are done though. Last sip of coffee, and we're finished. I'm in the recovery position here. 
How it was, good was it? Can we please uh, appreciate how insane that this was? This is one of the most insane things. It's easily in my like top three things moving to Dubai. Yeah. Let alone maybe ever. It was just it was so amazing and also just this view to the left of me and the right of you. It's incredible. It's stunning, honestly. Really, really nice. I think it was absolutely stunning, to be honest. You just get like pretty much like separate food courts everywhere and you could get any food that you could ever imagine. So if you love breakfast and brunch, like I can just totally recommend it. It was so delicious. Every single thing of the buffet was insane. And this was definitely the biggest buffet I've ever seen. I didn't really quite know what I was like expecting when I came into it, but it just exceeded all my expectations to be honest. sunset tonight is so nice uh, the <laughs> wind is super dirty but look at those colors we wanted to go catch the sunset but we didn't make it so we're gonna go now and um, go for an evening walk shoot a couple of photos maybe yeah in the dark and um, yeah enjoy a nice breeze because it's hot today. Oh, really? <laughs> it's getting hot next week. 37, I just saw. Ooh, very hot. Let him cook. We almost arrived at the creek, and you can see it's still beautiful icing. It's so nice. Wow. Wow, this is just so pretty. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. We just got ready because we are heading over to the beach. We haven't been to the beach in like literally months now. Um, if you watched my last vlog, you would have seen that we went to the beach club, but then we actually had to go uh, like leave because it was starting to rain. So today actually looks beautiful. We hope it stays this way and we're going to enjoy our lovely day by the beach. We're going to um, a new beach club that just opened in Dubai, which is called Maison de la Plage. It's like a French Riviera inspired beach club. I think it's like a little bit of Saint-Tropez vibes and it looks so beautiful on Instagram. I just had a look. Um, I'm really excited to see what it looks in real life. And this is my outfit. I'm wearing a swimsuit. It has like a little rolls up here which i really love i'm really into like the 3d roses at the moment and then i just popped on my uh flat pants i was thinking to go just black because i have these ones in black as well but they're a different fabric and they are so itchy and i just i won't get through the day so i chose these ones they're a bit more comfortable and um yeah yesterday we just uh went for a little walk we took some photos and videos by the creek um we didn't really have any dinner because we were kind of still full from the buffet um it was now. yeah still Even full now full, it really. was honestly the best Thing, like one of the best things easily Henry and I have done so far in Dubai. It was just such an experience. We both were just loving it. 
and um so if you guys are into breakfast or brunch like definitely go there they also do um like the same setup for dinner so it's like a big dinner buffet they have loads of different food um and uh, we were also thinking maybe to try that um so yeah we are all ready to go and uh i think it's at uh west palm west beach i always get it wrong yeah. west palm beach palm west beach uh in the fairmont hotel I'm really excited to, um, yeah, just see what it looks like. de la plage and i have to say it's so so pretty here honestly it's beautiful yeah it's i love the design and we're right by the beach which means we get a nice breeze so it's perfect temperature not too that fast it's like 30 or so but with the breeze it's just your perfect beach day i would say it is. i'm so ready for a swim there is yeah. nose. i Me love too. swimming obsessed yeah so, and we're just waiting for nicholas and then we're gonna maybe also soon get some lunch and really just enjoy the beautiful day. <laughs> 